Hello, welcome to Ember Escape. In today's video we'll be exploring the most unique and rare inclusions that were trapped inside of Ember. Like uh, lizards, uh, some cool spiders and maybe something else, who knows. Uh, but this time it won't be just in the Baltic Ember. It will be in all the Ember from all the locations. Like in Burmese Ember from Myanmar, Dominican Ember and let's see what do we have on the list today. Have you ever wondered if movie The Jurassic Park is scientifically plausible? After seeing ancient tick trapped inside of lump of fossilized raisin, still full of blood after its last meal, starts to raise a few questions. Unfortunately, even with the newest technologies of extracting DNA from organic material, it's impossible to retrieve DNA sample from the ember. Scientists try to retrieve DNA from insects trapped in copal, aging from 60 to 10,000 years old and failed. So it's quite far-fetched to even be talking about extracting DNA from ember dating from 2 to 100 million years old. Even so, this piece of ember with tick in it is an extremely rare find. Even without the blood, ticks are quite uncommon in ember. This sample dates around 20 million years old. Blood cells inside were identified as mammalian, characteristically donut-shaped and lacking a dark nucleus. These appear to be the first fossilized mammalian red blood cells ever found. The area where the ember was found 20 million years ago is currently known as the Dominican Republic and holds a fossil record of primates in that age. And the tick has two tiny holes in its back as if punctured by the small sharp nails of a juvenile monkey who picked it up and threw it while grooming another. Presumably, the tick then landed in tree raisin. Here we are witnessing a parasite that's trying to flee from its host as it's being trapped in ember. Once again, one of a kind example found preserved in ember. A parasite is an organism that lives on or in a host organism and gets its food from or at the expense of its host. This one looks like parasitic worm meaning it belongs to helminth type, that can also be found in humans. Quite creepy if you ask me. This stunning example of long extinct spider belongs to harvester spider species. As we can see, this poor spicy spider was likely interrupted from something very important when he got trapped in Burmese ember, aging 99 million years old. This is also a first sample that was trapped with his genitalia clearly visible and undeniably holds a record for world's longest erection to date. What a champ! Here we have one of the examples of how useful is amber for science. In Dominican amber is found in total 17 samples of Caribbean lizard, which scientists studied and resolved questions in ecology whether the structure of ecological communities can be stable or over very long timescales. These Hispaniolian lizards remain almost unchanged from the Miocene to the present, and that timescale for almost 20 million years. Each sample of ember with these lizards truly looks remarkable. They have preserved in ember perfectly, we can witness the structure of their bones, skin and everything else. I would be over the moon to have at least one of such pieces. But pieces like that, uh, you know, they belong in the museum for everyone to enjoy them. You think Australia has some scary spiders? Well, wait until you see this specimen of newly discovered Himerarachni yingi, spider-like creature from Myanmar, trapped in amber. It clearly does resemble the spider, but we can clearly see a long tail. Scientists concluded that this is arachnid relative of modern spiders and scorpions. Even the name is given that contains the word Himera. If you are wondering what Himera means, it's an organism that contains cells or tissues 
from two or more different species, quite widely concept used in Greek mythology. Can it get any more unlikely than finding an actual beard in piece of amber? Once again, beard was trapped in Burmese amber from the Myanmar. Clearly, this amber is the heavyweight among the amber from other locations for its crazy diverse inclusions. Most of the beard is hidden deep within 78 gram piece of amber, with only claws clearly visible. The preserved beard body includes the head, neck, part of the right wing, both legs and the hints of a tail, all covered with skin, scales and lots of feathers. Miner who found the fossil was thinking it was claw of a lizard, but the buyer knew better. While lizards have five fingers, beards only have four. Beard is really tiny, only six centimeters long, comparable to present smallest beards, hummingbirds, which measures from five to thirteen centimeters. But this is not a beard like we know them today. It belonged to the extinct group called <laughs> the name that I won't pronounce ancient cousins of modern beards. They had curtain reptilian features that modern beards are missing, for example teeth. And again, Burmese amber comes in strong, trapping world's fierce baby snakes from the age of the dinosaurs. This baby snake has remarkably well-preserved skeletal structure that has 97 intact vertebrae. Snake was named Tsiaophis myanmarensis by the author Lin Daxing of the China University of Geosciences. This snake is likely related to modern snake found in Southeast Asia. And this is also the oldest snake known from the forested environment. This was a juvenile snake that likely got trapped soon after it got hatched from the egg, measuring all around 5 cm in length. Yes, another one. Another one. An extremely rare Burmese amber find. Scientists have uncovered ancient extinct predatory mollusk known as ammonite, trapped in amber from the dinosaurs' age, dating 99 million years old. These marine creatures are relatives of present squids. So far, ammonites were only found fossilized inside ancient rocks. This is first ever ammonite that is found in amber. Ammonites are ocean dwellers. How this one got into amber remains a mystery. Unfortunately, there were no soft tissues remains inside the ammonite fossil. The shell was partially damaged, and the entrance into the shell was full of sand, suggesting the ammonite was dead when it became trapped inside amber. Alongside this ammonite was found 40 other organisms that were trapped inside the same piece of amber. Among them were beetles, cockroaches, spiders, flies, wasps and other shells, which is truly extremely unique and rare piece, whole ecosystem in one place. One of the most incredible fossil discoveries of 2016 is part of the tail of a tiny dinosaur, trapped inside of a 99 million years old Burmese ember. It's just a few centimeters across, but the find is beautifully preserved with bones and remains of soft tissues. And most exciting, the whole tail is covered in feathers. But not like feathers we know, but proto-feathers. These weren't used for flight, more likely to keep the animal warm. These few centimeters were clearly only a tiny part of one's really long tail that belonged to two-legged dinosaurs, from a group known as Cholelosaurs, which are now known to have feathers. These dinosaurs were a subgroup of the theropods. If you're thinking for a theropod, don't worry, you know them. It's the group that famous T-Rex belongs to. This pretty much sums up the list I wanted to share with you today. You can find more information about each find in the description. I listed everything and all the articles that's related to them. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I might do some more these kind of videos and bye